what is going on everybody back on it one piece official trailer um i saw this drop and i saw it was three minutes long i'm like well probably gonna go ahead and check it out i didn't even think about it i don't know why i for some reason i was like oh this project's gonna be a ways with this shit comes out next month like we're almost a month away um and i had just asked the question you know because i'm getting ready to wrap up monster here and i'm getting ready to wrap up vinland saga season two i was like is there anything else we should start and people are talking jojos and people are saying do bleach and then people have other things um i've been told this is gonna only be eight episodes should we just go ahead and bang this out <laughs> i'll put up a poll and we'll figure it out um i don't want to go into it. let me see the official trailer the first one was just a teaser i, I need a little bit more um it has a vibe from it I'm trying to gauge. I don't know if you guys watched it. Um, what was it called? Oh, so that was what, Willow. I had never seen the movie Willow, but I saw the show was getting ready to come out, and people were freaking out. They're like, oh, I loved Willow. That was my childhood, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. I was like, dang, so maybe I'll check this thing out. So I watched the movie, corny as hell. Uh, I It's hard for me to really connect with older movies, fantasy movies, especially when, like, the... the what they do with like pup uh you, you i don't need to go into that um but then i watched the show the show had like this this look to it that i couldn't connect with that's what the first trailer felt looked like to me kind of like the willow series where like it looks kind of like they're trying to go for a, t a certain period of time but like stuff some of the stuff doesn't fit with uh, i don't know so maybe this will be a little bit better um maybe we'll see a little more of the um, Devil's Root ability in use. I've been told that there's fishmen in this. Um, so I'm very curious to see what they look like. Um, maybe we get a little more personalities out of some of the characters. And I've been, so there's only eight episodes, and I think they're only covering up to the end of the Arlong arc. Nami's kind of backstory there, which I think only gets you to like 40, 45 episodes of anime wise. Um, cause I was hesitant to start this cause I was like, well, I was like, I'm not very far, but I'm a good 300 episodes ahead of this. So I feel like I have a good grasp of like the one piece world and the characters and the personalities. So I feel like we can connect with it decently enough. Haven't decided if we're going to react to it, but I guess if it's only eight episodes, maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll make it a Patreon only thing. If it's really bumping on YouTube and like, like it's really like picking up then we can go ahead and put it on. I don't know. We'll figure out what we're doing with that. We've been talking long enough. One piece official trailer, three minutes long. Let's see what we got. Oh, is it supposed to be Roger? Well, yeah. Fame, power. I found everything this world has to offer. Free yourselves. Head to the seas. Hmm. My treasure hmm. is yours to find. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you with me? Guess not. New to me. Why would anyone want to be a pirate? Let's not try it. Let's try not to comment. I need your back. Salt is here. A loyal crew by your side. That ship looks. Ready. What is it? We're Jolly Roger. We are the Straw Hat crew. We're heading up to the Grand Line. A treacherous stretch of ocean with bigger islands, bigger pirates. And that's where we're gonna find the One Piece. She's been making enemies everywhere we go. Uh, interesting, because I had a lot of questions on how that would look. Is he British? You'll have to excuse them. There it is. Okay. And was that a fishman he kicked or attempted to kick? Can handle anything. I'll do you the kindness of killing you all together. You're my captain. From <clears throat> I gotta look at that again. I gotta see that again. 
Uh, I wonder how they're going to do that with her stabbing her arm and everything. Oh, Mihawk. Is there going to be a little after stinger tease here? Maybe. Let's see. I didn't know there were so many pirates. It's terrible. Oh, I Kobe. Know, right? Where's my face? <sighs> Before I, I need to see people. What do they think? I'm not going to stop myself with this. Again. Fantastic world. This looks record breaking. No one notices your pain. Man, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'll watch it. I'll even react to it. I, something is missing. And I don't... It feel... It has that, like, Willow feel that I talked about where, like, they have the use of modern technology and modern CGI and costume design and everything. But, like, I don't know if it's the characters on the palette of the background, like, the grading they're going for. It's, it has, like, this, uh... This, like, filter over... Like, I don't... I'm missing something. And I don't know if that, if I just feel like that, like, am I being quadruple negative or something like that? Um, so, something's missing. And I do. So I saw this complaint a lot on, you know, Twitter, the place to complain. Nami's personality does feel a little bit like it's miss. She's like very monotone, just like, ugh, eye roll type. And I feel like she was never really like that even b before the Arlong stuff. Um, so I do feel like that's a little bit of a miss. Didn't get any use up any, anything there. Really, we got to see a little bit more of Luffy, um, as you could see. Some of the stretch, um, gum gum stuff looks decent. Other stuff, it looks like well, you could tell. So this is what we have to go up here. So I'm trying to think of my time because I talk when I started One Piece. I talked about this. I don't really know any other like cartoons or shows or animes that like do the whole pirate thing and I was like I was really interested because I was like dang so is Luffy gonna have a crew and he's got like an armada of ships behind him and like like Sanji and, and Zoro and everyone's like leading their own crew and he's got like 50 ships sail that sail underneath him and like I, I didn't know what I was getting into and clearly it's not that maybe it gets to that maybe he does maybe a bunch of ships sail under him I don't know I've got a 700 episodes to go um but I say that because there's been no in in my kind of in kind of like pop culture references of anything pirate or pirate wise to go off of. But then I really sat back and thought, well, wait a minute, Pirates of the Caribbean is like one of the best selling franchises ever. Um, and the thing with the pir pirates, which was like 20 years ago, that to this day, all that Davy Jones stuff and his crew, that CGI still hold like. That shit holds strong today. Um, it do it doesn't look CG like it looks practical. It looks good. I'll never forget. I think it's in the third movie where Davy Jones comes out in the sunlight, and they have to put him in that that uh <laughs> that little bucket of water because he can't step on land. And the way the sun's hitting his face and the different colors and the textures, like that looks good and practical. Um. I think the only thing that did, that looked a little wonky was um, Will Turner, Bootstrap Bill, because they they tried to like make him a man but put prosthetic on him, so it didn't. Look, but the rest of it looked great. So I was like, oh well, maybe they'll do something. I was thinking of Fishman. I was like, how will they do that? Maybe it'll look a little something like that. Um, the Arlong looks a bit. It looks a bit. <laughs> That's all I'll try to say. Um, Mihawk doesn't look. So here we go here. It, and the counter to to my statements and everything of this is like, well, what could they do? It looks good given what it's supposed to represent, and I just think that's a cop out and an excuse. Um, just because, well, what could they do? Or this was the best they could do, could they? I mean, I'm seeing that they're going for the practical here. They're not going for the. Davy Jones, World's End, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean thing, where they're kind of CGI modeled there. Like, this looks like a guy 
with makeup. They put the prosthetic on him. They put a hat that has like a wig in it. Like that's what it looks like to me. It doesn't like some things. Do you get what I'm saying? I feel like it's it's there, but like it could be there. You know, I don't know. It doesn't look awful. Um, I wanted to go back and look at the. Uh... Okay, so here he comes out here, right? And one thing about the fishman and Arlong is I need to see a little bit more of like them being so physically imposing, like just massive. And maybe, and it's hard to tell that from the three minute trailer. So let's wait to see a little bit more here. Um, so just kind of how big they look. Is this another fishman that he kicks here? It is. Hmm. Ah, so here we go. This is what I wanted to see. So Buggy here looks straight. I think it looked better in the, the shot we saw. But, I mean, it's it's hard to tell with just two second still shots of how it's going to pan out here. I want to see. So we see him separating. Well, it's a good thing they're separating him in kind of like a lower light. So the CGI doesn't have the hit is good because we can't really see it that well. Interesting. It's honestly... Hats off to them for even attempting this because this looks like it's going to be a lot. Um, Roger looks whatever; he looks fine. I haven't seen an, I haven't seen enough representation of him in the anime to really have an opinion because this is kind of the only thing you ever see of him is him being executed. Um, I didn't know we were going Sanji British there, but I think I saw a. Uh, Oh gosh, a kind of breakdown of how he was explaining how the characters would be in real life that Luffy would be Luffy would be Brazilians or would be Asian or Japanese. Um I think they said Yusuf would be like from the Caribbean area. Um and I, I didn't see what they had Sanji categorized as. Um it's very interesting. I feel like I could sit here and dive this a lot. Um cuz like in shots like this, it's like I understand like it, like the both going merry that could be an actual ship like the prop ship that they actually built Avita's ship next to it clearly looks like they're trying to go practical but it, you can tell it's like cgi'd on top of like the landscape and they're not using like a volume like the mandalorian series it, it kind of looks like different things patched on top of the same scene so something about it it's like it's not in that uncanny valley yet it's like right above it we're like oh the Going Merry looks, that looks like a real set piece, but then it's like a Vita ship doesn't look like it, and like, is that real water? Okay, maybe what the Going Merry is in, but maybe not with that in, but like, it, are they even, it's it's a lot going on. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, man, I mean, hats off to them. Kobe, I wish they would have gone for a younger version. There's a lot, man. It's a lot to keep up. I think if they come out with any more trailers or anything, I don't think I'm going to... Well, I'll watch them, but I don't think I'm going to react to them. I think I want to go in with just the material that we have um, and just take it from there. Because I could sit and dive and really go into things and pull things apart. And, you know, we saw his pistol action and leg stretching. And it's going to be very interesting. That's all I can really say. <laughs> Um, I feel like it'll be successful enough just from a viewership standpoint just because how big One Piece is. So I think just the raw viewer numbers will be successful. Um, but will the show be any good? We shall see. We'll see. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...